Hi, my name is Paula Fillo, and I am a billet mom and the billet coordinator for the Connecticut Rough Riders. Back in 2015, my grandson was playing hockey at the, um, the Sono Ice House, and um, my husband was down there one day, and he was approached by somebody asking if he would be interested in hosting a junior hockey player in our home. And my husband and my grandson both thought this was an absolutely amazing idea and would also give my grandson a big brother role model to look up to. And so they came home and talked to me about it and I immediately shot the idea down. I thought they were absolutely crazy. And, uh, but they persisted and finally they broke me down and I agreed to do it. And a couple weeks later, in moved our first billet from New Zealand. And um, I figured this is a one and done and we'll go on with life. But 14 boys later, uh, we're still doing it. And um, some of them stayed for multiple years. Some just stayed after the season ended and didn't want to leave. And a lot of times they come and visit us during their school breaks. The first couple of weeks when they move in, it's weird and awkward. And then one day it all comes together and you become a family. We do family dinners every night and we spend hours talking about the good and bad games and practices. Um, we had a weekly bachelor night watch party. Uh, we talked about their loves, love lives or their lack of. Um, we, uh, we had boys in every single bedroom playing video games and screaming at each other with their doors open in healthy competition. Um, and we even had a long philosophical debate on whether a cactus was a fruit or a plant. And this debate still goes on until this day. We cooked a lot of meals together and I learned a lot about their families and their family traditions. Together, we nursed many shoulder, hip, and leg injuries, way too many concussions, and a few broken hearts. My family tries to watch all of their games whenever they're playing either uh, live at the, at the ice house or on hockey TV. And they look for us in the stands. And when we get home and they're super pumped and they ask, did you see what I did? Did you see when I did this? Did you see when I did that? We can say that we did and we can tell them how proud we are of them and that they did an amazing job. I became friends with all of their parents. We know all of their siblings. Um, and I still get text messages and calls from at least one of the boys every week just to catch up or talk about school or they ask me for girlfriend advice, which is kind of cool. Honestly, aside from the relationship that I have with my own family and my kids, the most important relationship that I have are with my hockey boys. Being a billet mom has given me more than I have ever given to them. One of my boys is 6'4 and from Colorado, and his nickname is Tree. He has a pine tree tattooed on his forearm. He affectionately referred to me as not his real mom. When he left after two years, he gave me a pendant with the image of his tattoo engraved on it. It was one of the most amazing gifts I have ever received. The day they move in, I give them a key to my house. It's a key that I expect them to keep always because now they're part of our family and part of our home. And I love every single one of them.